As we step onto the softball diamond, we see Bennett Academy playing in their eighth game of the season and are coming off a one in one week with a victory over Hinsdale Central and a narrow loss to Bradley Bourbonnet. Wabonzi Valley is their next opponent and is looking to keep the bats rolling after scoring 35 runs this week. The Red Wing bats catch fire immediately with Sophia Rosner hitting this ball through the infield and that brings home Nina Pasari to make it 1-0. In the second inning, it's Pasari's turn to bring in the runs as Mary-Kate Ritterbush crosses home plate for a 2-0 lead. Grace Babbitt is up, but she wants to double her RBIs as Pisari and Rosner score, and it's a 4-0 lead for the Red Wings. Another batter, another RBI as Ritterbush cranks this ball out to center field, and she turns on the Jets for a triple. That makes it 5-0 Red Wings. Warriors pitcher Hannah Lobb cools off the bats by turning two after catching a liner and throwing out the base runner at first. Wabonzi's turn to hit the ball and it's Aisley Morgan with the fly out to left that bounces off the fielder's glove and it results in a double for Morgan. So Lily Elsie is looking for an RBI and she thinks this hit will do the trick with Morgan coming home. However, the throw to the plate is in time, and Babbage tags her out to keep the goose egg on the board. Bennett gets back swinging with Bella Ivanelli crushing her hit out to left center. One run scores, but the other gets thrown out, but not to worry because the Red Wings keep exploding and are up 10-0. Wabonzi finally breaks the seal with a solid base hit from Gia Colbert, and that allows Grace Riggs to come on home. Morgan gets another hit that nearly takes out the umpire, but that results in another Warrior run, but still trailed by a big margin of 10-2. They want some more, but Mary-Kate Ritterbush puts a stop to it by snagging the liner. The Warriors get a couple more in garbage time, but the damage was already done as Bennett comes out victorious. We struggled a little bit in the beginning, but once we start passing the bat, at like the beginning of the season, but once we start passing the bat, you know, everyone continues to pick each other up, and it felt amazing to finally just drive the ball, and I think it's going to help us in the future. The communication and the team bonding, we really have been trying to have, like, team meetings and team bonding, and I think, like, once our team chemistry has gotten stronger, we've played better together overall. And again, just, like, more hitting. Like, we've been just working hitting every single day, every single week, and I think that's helped us a lot. Or game plan was kind of just come in there like try and get the hitters out they're all you know the first three or four hitters were like they're put the power in the heart of their lineup so as a catcher my goal was just to attack them and try and break their swing apart to see what I could throw them we had a team meeting before our game last Saturday about what we can do to kind of change our approach at the plate and after that our bat started to like wake up a little and now we've been putting on runs way more than we did like in the previous weeks